Hi, I'm Sean Smith, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the 10 elements for a high converting sales page template as a coach. Most coaches really struggle with sales, and what I found is that's because they try to sell like salespeople. Selling coaching is different than selling any other non-coaching product out there. So if you follow sales templates, if you adopt the language that salespeople use and you apply it to your coaching products, your coaching packages, your coaching personality, there's a good chance that it won't work because these really are like two different muscles from an energy standpoint. So what I'm gonna do for you in this video is give you a template that allows you to stay connected to what you're passionate about, which is some form of helping people improve their lives, right? But still do it inside of a framework that will increase the sales conversions and the sales process because there are some elements in a sales conversation that just have to be there. So what I'm gonna do is give you this proven template, something that I've developed over the last 15 years with dozens and dozens and dozens of sales pages and hundreds of sales conversations on the phone as well as on stage so that you can just add your details but still stay inside of this proven framework built specifically for coaches. And as I share with you the framework, I'm also going to share the platform that I use to build it, GetResponse, which is an amazing tool for helping coaches build their businesses, as well as how you can get your hands on more of the deep dive training around these sales processes and some intangible and psychological things that we just won't have time to go too deep into in this video. So let's open up the computer and dive into this sales template here. Let me take you inside GetResponse here to show you this auto funnel feature, what it looks like when you go to build a campaign from scratch. The first step is to create an opt-in page to capture the leads. Second step is to create an email that goes out to the leads once they join your list. Third step is to create a sales page. And your fourth step is a thank you page after people buy the product. And then it will capture all the conversion percentages and show you how much money you've made, etc. For the purposes of this video, let me show you a campaign that has the first two steps already created. We have the opt-in page and we have the email. This third step is the sales page. That's what we're gonna dive into in this video, creating a sales page with a high converting template. I'm not going to show you the technical aspects of building this page. You can see there are many templates for you to choose from. I'm just going to open up a sales page that I've already created and dissect the template here. So what I'm gonna do is show you some screenshots of a sales page that I have for a marketing program called The Foundations of Marketing for Coaches. That way you have some context. The first element is to pre-frame what's possible. What that means is you start the conversation on a high note. You start talking about what's possible. In this case, I actually formed it as a question. Is it even possible to build a successful coaching business nowadays with all the competition and stuff online, etc.? Framing it as a question like that plants the seed that the prospect might not believe that it's possible anymore, especially with the condition that I mentioned, if you're not a hardcore marketer teaching marketing to marketers. Then you wanna move directly into the second element, which is identify the problem. What that does is it expands the prospect's awareness from pleasure to pain and everything in between. When you have a prospect with expanded awareness like that, they will pay more attention to you and you can speak to anything inside of that new frame of awareness. And then element number three is when you pinpoint the desire. In other words, we're diving into one specific element. Pinpointing their desire does something incredibly important. It lets them know that you understand them. If you can tell them, listen, I know this is what you want, and it matches what they want, then you will have them connected to whatever it is you're going to say after that, especially if it's attached to the desire and the problem that you just brought up. Once you've captured their attention around the content, 
It's important that you establish yourself with some credibility and authority so they understand why you're qualified to have this conversation with them. And one thing I highly recommend is to be authentic. You don't have to write a whole lot, but be real, be vulnerable, be human. That creates a lot more connection nowadays than trying to impress people with everything you've accomplished. The fifth element, which adds more to the credibility of the content as well as yourself, is social proof. That's where you add some testimonials from people that have experience with you and or the specific content that you're going to be talking about. People have a desire to know that this stuff works, that you're credible, and that people have good things to say. The other thing is that people see themselves in the stories of other people more so than they see themselves in the story of the person selling the program. Element number six is the path. You've talked about the content and gotten their attention at a big scale. You've talked about yourself, you've built rapport and established authority, you've shared some testimonials. Now let's talk about what we'll actually be doing together. And this portion of the sales conversation is really critical that you give some details, but you don't give everything away. You wanna tell them from a high level perspective what they'll be going through. You wanna give them a little bit of a taste of some of the content sections or concepts or exercises, but you don't wanna tell them exactly what they're going to get because then they'll probably decide that they'll just follow those directions on their own. If you give people all three of those layers, there's more of a chance that something in one of those three sections, or maybe all of them, will really intrigue them. Element number seven is distinction. After you share a little bit about the path, you wanna tell them why this is different. Now the reason distinction is so critical is because most people have all kinds of experiences in their past where they've tried certain things and they haven't worked. The mind is not interested in just repeating another project of failure. So you wanna give their brain something that's going to be different this time. It could be different about you, could be different about the program, could be different about society and the timing, but it's gotta be something that gives the brain a new ingredient in the recipe. Therefore, the brain goes, if we have a new ingredient, then something could be different this time. On my page, I deliver that distinction through an analogy, which can be very powerful if it fits your content. I talk about the difference between dolphins and sharks, whereas most coaches operate like dolphins, we just wanna have fun, and most salespeople operate like sharks, they follow a certain set of rules. Now, I'm not making a values judgment that sharks are worse people than dolphins. I'm not saying sharks are bad. I'm just saying there are two different profiles here. If you fit into this profile called dolphins, then this program is really going to be for you. Element number eight is a price comparison. Now, there are many different ways you can do a price comparison. You can say it cost me all of this money to assemble all of this information, but I'm going to condense it and consolidate it for you at a much lower price. You can say, if you buy all of these things separately on our website, it would cost this, but we've got a, a package price to get them all at the same time, and this is your lower cost. What I did on this site is I talked about the cost of not doing this work. In other words, what's the cost of not taking action? That appeals to a different part of the brain, which I speak to directly right here. What's the worst thing that could happen if you take action? Especially since there's a guarantee, nothing bad can happen. But what's the worst thing if you don't take action? If you don't fulfill your dreams, if you never get this business off the ground and you don't get your message out there? I want people to consider the emotional consequences of not taking action. So more often than not, that's the route I go with price comparison. So now, if the cost of not implementing your goals is tremendously painful, and the cost of this particular program is $2,500, then that's way better than the cost of missing out. And then element number nine is to take away the risk by offering a money back guarantee. The most common objection people have is, 
money. I don't want to waste money. I don't want to lose money. I don't want to spend money on something and then have it not work again. So let's just remove all that and say, hey, if it doesn't work out for you in 30 days or 60 days or 90 days or whatever time frame you want to give, I'll give you all your money back. So there's really no risk for you to say yes. And finally, the last element here, perks and presents. Offer them bonuses. Tell them what else you're willing to give them as a bonus for purchasing this particular program. Now, when it comes to bonuses, give them things that are supplemental to their learning. Give them things that are going to help them implement this program. Don't throw a bunch of irrelevant stuff. Don't give them coat hangers and a stack of knives or anything else just to try to add more bonuses to the package. That, again, adds more suspicion than intrigue, especially nowadays and especially in the coaching market. All right, those are the 10 elements that are important to have inside any sales conversation as a coach. And you're going to need a platform to put all of this online. So the platform that I recommend for coaches is GetResponse. It has really everything you're going to need to build a foundational business and scale it up. You can do all your websites, you can put together webinars, you can put together surveys, you can automate all of your marketing according to prospects behavior. It is an all-in-one kind of program that isn't missing anything. So it comes with my full recommendation. Now the template that I just taught you is actually in the platform for coaches. We've put together a package of multiple templates that have been proven to work that I've developed over all of my years as a coach. Now I'm sure you understand the power of having a proven framework that you can start with and then just adjust the details to match your personality or match your products or any of the other variables that are unique to you. So we created a package specifically for coaches with opt-in pages, thank you pages, newsletters, sales templates like this one, and all of them are available to you inside your GetResponse account. On top of that, I promised you that I would go a little bit deeper in this training. There are five more elements that are more intangible and conceptual. They are psychological in nature and more energetic in terms of how you write your sales copy and where you put certain elements on the page. That would take a lot more time than we have in this video, but as a customer of GetResponse, even on your free trial, you'll have access to that training so you can even understand further a lot of these elements of the sales template. So if you wanna give it a try, there's a link in the description of this video. Click on that link, take the free trial. If you have any questions for me about the platform, about the content of this video or anything else, about building your business, then please comment right here below. If you like this video, share it, hit like, subscribe to the channel, click on the little bell icon so you get notifications every time we publish, and I'll see you in another video.